Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. I'm Tara with Pieces of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me today. Um, here I am just going to prep my edges um, with the tube paint straight from the tube. If you're wondering why I do that, please see some of my previous videos. This is the consistency um, that you want for your uh, pearl cell recipe. This is a white pearl cell recipe. It sinks immediately. Now this one is a uh, it's just the Amsterdam white mixed up uh, according to my like Dutch pour pour over colors because um, it, when I had this first idea of what I was gonna do, I was gonna do a Dutch pour through the middle, and I wanted to try and keep as much color as I could without pearl cells. So I decided in the middle, I wasn't going to put the satin enamel recipe down. So I am going to do a couple um, of flip cups on the end. I had this idea of doing the flip cups on the end and then trying to do like a, a um, Dutch pour through kind of the center area and so I, that's why I decided to um, kind of do this the way that I did it. Uh, here's the satin enamel recipe with the white. This one, I actually used deco art satin enamel because I had a, um, a class that I did with a really nice lady, Millie. She actually has a YouTube channel. Um, I will pop that uh, YouTube channel in the description box check her out but um she wanted to learn how to do the pearl cell technique and so what she had was deco art and so I decided that we would go with that recipe so that's what the recipe that I'm using um here is the deco art satin enamel versus the bare satin enamel um I uh, usually use the bare satin enamel but um it, you know if someone has a preference I will definitely use what their preferences or maybe what they have um, on hand. So um, little plug for myself that I do do classes. If you're interested in something like that, let me know and uh, shoot me an email and I can get you the pricing for that. Um, so I did not put um, paint in the middle of this one. As you can see, I'm kind of stretching those flip cups over top of the satin enamel base, trying to keep some negative space in the middle. Um, and the reason why I didn't put um, even just the, the, the Amsterdam paint down is I wanted, because I knew both ends were going to be stretched over the satin enamels, I didn't want, uh, I wanted that, that flip cup to have like a barrier to stop um, moving from moving into that center section. So um, this is a 12 by 24 canvas that I'm using and I was just really trying like an experiment on it and I left um, not quite enough negative space for myself and so I mean I I think that it worked out really good. I, I, I like how this one turned out. Um, I sat and stared at it for quite some time. I wasn't sure, I, I kind of liked how cool it looked just with that negative space in the middle and I was just thinking, oh, you know, I don't know if I wanna mess it up by trying to put a, a Dutch pour there. So I literally stared and stared and stared and stared at this for quite some time. And um, in the end, I decided not to do anything in the middle because I just felt like I didn't quite have enough room uh, to even just kind of experiment on this one. Um, and I really liked how that the uh, negative space turned out. It almost looks like it's like ripped um, where the edge is. It, it's pretty, really pretty, and it's really pretty in person. Uh, so, it, I mean, it turned out really well. I think it's pretty cool. Um, you guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you think I should have went for a Dutch pour, but I, this kind of stuck in my head, so I actually did another one. Um, you guys will see here pretty soon, uh, probably my next video on a 12 by 36, I think is what the canvas is. Kind of gave myself a little bit more room. I mean, it, <laughs> it didn't turn out how I expected it to turn out, 
but I am really, I, I do really like it. I, I just actually did it today and I'm kind of excited to see how it dries. So here's the dry result for this one. Um, it dried really good. Um, those pearls are just beautiful. Um, the, the center section, because of that Venetian blue, the gold, the um, interference blue-green, it has a lot of shine and shimmer to it in between the pearls. So I really liked how that turned out. And um, it was kind of nice to do something with a little bit of negative space, kind of minimal. Um, and I was really trying to edit myself on this one and say, okay, you know, if you find a result that you like, there's no sense in keeping going, you know? Um, so on this one, I decided I'm gonna just keep it minimal. So there's the dry results, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you like what you're seeing, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified each time I put out a new video. And um, please leave a comment. I do reply um, and read each and every comment. So thanks again for being here, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.